A few days ago, I was filming a video which is to go up on the channel next, and I stained my white shirt. Now, to clean white shirts is a little bit tricky for me. I prefer taking them to the dry cleaners, and so that's exactly what I did. Bearing in mind that it's not the cheapest option, but at least it gets the job done. Now, the cost of laundry depends on so many different things. It could be the quantity of clothes, the quality of fabric, the color of the clothes. For example, white, if it's white and it has a lot of stains, then you're more likely to probably pay more. Also, the kind of stains as well. And then if you want uh, your clothes to be like, they put starch on your clothes. So it depends on a lot of different things. Meanwhile, if you want to skip all this wahala and buy your own washing machine, the price ranges are between 150 to 250 francs. In fact, it can get very expensive. It just depends on your budget. I actually need to buy a full-length mirror like this. You know that I've not seen myself, my full self, for such a long time. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is where I do my laundry sometimes. Our next plan of action was to go for a chill day at the pool, but the weather had its own plans. the face of an unhappy person like i can even believe that the rain is falling next plan we were supposed to go to this place the swimming pool area to swim so i was looking forward to that even though i've forgotten how to swim and then this rain this is the first time it's rained like this on a saturday this heavy in yaoundé why why today of all this by this time it was 3 p.m. and there was pretty much nothing we could do because it was too cold to swim so we decided to console ourselves with some roasted corn i feel like food fixes everything anyway so that was the end of my laundry day and a failed attempt at going to swim i don't know guys maybe it's a sign maybe i'm not meant to be a swimmer with more time on my hands, I'm really enjoying trying new things in Yaoundé. So on this day, I decided to make a goosey pudding for the first time and let me show you guys how it went. I think I'll just put everything inside before mixing it. I was about to say don't judge me guys but i know you're going to judge me so just go ahead and judge me but for everybody who has made this before definitely comment and let me know how i can improve on what i did i was just freestyling i did not use any recipe a goosey is also known as pumpkin seeds and just out of interest in south africa while i was there they don't quite have a goosey like the way we do in west africa i mean you might find uh, pumpkin seeds in recipes like carrot cake or just random recipes but not actually um the way we have it where we cook it as soups or puddings the reason why we burn the leaves is to make it more flexible so that you can be able to roll the pudding in it if you would want a proper recipe on how to make a goosey pudding, you can check out these Cameroonian YouTubers who have created um, tutorials. You have Precious Core, you have Immaculate Bites, you have Tea Secrets. They have good videos on how to make a proper a goosey pudding. Now, I know that this is where everybody is going to laugh at me, but you know what? It is what it is. I had to use ropes because I didn't have, you know, the proper, uh, can I say plantain ropes used to tie the leaves. Ta-da! So this is what it turned out like. I don't know what you think, guys. Rate me out of 10, but I think I did a pretty good job. All right, tasting for the first time. Mm, it actually tastes like the proper stuff. It tastes like the real deal. I tried, sir. Yeah, I think the next thing I'll do, the way I'll improve it is to take out more of the fish bones. But aside from that, it tastes like it's supposed to taste. Yeah, and then I think I'll put in eggs. Yeah, I'll put in eggs the next time. But good job to me. Good job to me. Take the next right. You didn't sleep well enough yesterday. Uh. Asha. So, on today's agenda, we are heading to the passport office to collect the passport. Yes, guys, I am leaving this country. I'm a fact, you know, I've had enough of coming when I'm leaving. Yeah, so we're going to go collect a passport and there's so much traffic. I hope we'll get there on time. There's a new passport office in Cameroon. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what it looks like. And apparently, you know, the passport system, it's much faster. You can get your passport within how many days? With two days, three yeah, days. within two to three days, you can get your passport in this Cameroon, where sometimes you can wait for two years to get your ID card. So, this sounded like a miracle, but the passport has been released within how many days now? It's just 
three days. Yeah, three days since you know the process was started. So I guess it actually works. So presently we are stuck in traffic and I'm not really understanding where the traffic is coming from because this road is normally clear. I don't know why this is traffic. I don't know. Oh my god. Maybe there's an accident in front. We finally got moving and I decided to take you guys around the city of Yaoundé. Now comment down below if you can identify any of these buildings or the streets. Now, we were very surprised with what we found at the new passport office, but before we get there, just letting you know that it's on the outskirts of town towards Etudi, which is where the presidency is. Hey, my god, is this the road to go to that passport office? <laughs> oh, that road. The, road is horrible, no? the road is terrible. I refuse to believe that that's a road leading up to the passport office. Yeah, the <laughs> this guy cannot even go up there, and this is the passport office. You know, there must be another road. <laughs> must be another road. As if that was not enough, I kept looking for a sign to verify we were in the right place. Guys, this signboard is practically practically in the bush. The signboard is practically in the bush. I mean, seriously, if you don't even look well, you will not see it. And it's so tiny. Other cars of the same make were struggling to get up that hill and they kept on like hitting parts of their car. So we decided to just park below with a few other cars we saw there. I don't know about you guys, but a whole passport office deserved tar road. I mean, imagine the workers of this place passing this situation every single day. My God. In Cameroon, official offices are very particular about dress code. And so I thought that the dress code to this office was quite serious. But I saw people wearing like sandals and slippers to go up there. So I was kind of grateful because I was not about to wear heels and climb up there, even though I had packed my heels in the car. So this is where you can expect to park when you come to the new passport office unless you're brave enough for your car to go up that hill. Once you make your way up, you can see the passport office with the flag up ahead. There was a lot of security there and opposite the security man you just saw, there was some parking. The passport office itself, as in the building, was a modern construct as it should be. I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of public service buildings in Cameroon, but um, yeah, let me just leave it at that. So when you enter the office, obviously there are people there for different reasons. Some are there to collect their passports, some are there to make new passports. If you're there to collect your passport, if you are the one in person, you can get it. If not, you will need a receipt and also a letter of authorization for you to collect. So unfortunately, we didn't have the letter of authorization, so we had to make an appointment to come another time. In my previous video, I went on a bookshop hunt trying to find a bookshop to buy a Bible. And I'm so pleased to tell you guys that after all your help, your suggestions on Twitter, Instagram, and my other social media platforms, you guys were able to help me to find three bookshops where... Okay. Let me not tell you what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally found a bookstore that is open. Not just one, but three at... Um, is it Karifu Emiya? Karifu Emiya, guys. At Karifu Emiya, there's Press Book and some other bookshops there as thanks well. Sorry. Say thanks to those who gave me that description. Yes, thank you so much to everyone who gave me the description, and I feel like you guys have been on this search with me. So let me finally go and get my Bible. The bookstore stocked various kinds of stationery and books as well, so we found Bibles after a short while. We were welcomed by a warm, friendly man who was patient enough to help us find the right Bible and he offered such great customer service. Do you have NIV? Yes. The moment he brought it down, I just knew this was the right Bible. It had this beautiful gold cover and man, the words, everything was just so simple. I love my Bibles to be simple and straight to the point. So I knew that I had to buy this Bible. We'll get to the price in a moment. Sorry, the cover. Right, don't need any other. Mm -hmm. While we were still trying to conclude, another customer walked in. No. 
in cameroon you beat the price okay you beat the price no matter what the price is you beat the price i'm not very good at bidding guys so build that had to carry this one for me but honestly this man was such a gentleman that i feel like the price of the bible itself was okay it was 7500 francs so that is the original cost of the bible and of course he showed us the other book covers he had just to prove to us we we're getting our money's worth well i'm so happy i was able to get this bible and that chapter is finally complete get it bible chapter get it <laughs> oh my gosh before you leave definitely like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video